Hello everyone, it's my Farm 6010 and today we're doing a review on the New Holland 8070 Combine from Replica Agri. It is, it is, um, uh, I think it's a 1989 Combine, quote me if I'm wrong, but um, I'll just get the box out of the way so I can take it off the table. So, yeah, it's a standard box. And he has a nice fold at the back. So I got that out of the way. I'll get into showcasing the combi. So it is a very detailed model. I got this from Brushwood. Uh, the ladders come down. But the detail is unreal. Um, the, I'm not sure if this... The um, the head here picks picks up. Now, there is hydraulics there, but I'm a bit afraid because I don't want to break it. Um, the pipe will come out, and there's like a nice um bit of uh, uh cloth, and make sure the grain goes in or the wind. And all the belts in here, the detail of the engine and the air filter, is unreal. The radiator and everything. It does unfold the grain tank and the detail inside the cab very detailed. There is a straw chopper this here. And uh, for the mechanic, the, the ladders come down to access the engine. So, these are one of my favourite combines, so I'm very happy that I got it. So, yeah, and uh, the header, the header goes on uh, with these, uh, these little, uh, pins here and yes it does um the header does rise for like crops like oilseed rape or um high crops so yeah it does go on pretty easily it does not come with a header trainer unfortunately but um one can be easily made i'm gonna make one soon for it but yeah it has a small enough header, but not not much to worry about. Um, it's quite, they're quite nice with the small header. So um, yeah, it's a really nice combine. Has lights and everything at the back. Twenty five kilometer an hour. I'd say the header would be a fifteen foot header or something. It looked like it. Have a fire extinguisher, mirrors, working lights, and the cab is a bit tilted to the right a bit. Not sure what the reason of that was. A lot of combines back 1980s were like that, and uh, there's a case axial flow combine like that as well. Had the had the had the cab to the right. It might be because the it's closer to the ladder. I'm not sure, but um. Yeah, so that's really all, almost I can say about it. It's very detailed, like as you can see, and uh, the, it cost me it cost me um eighty euro from Brushwood, but like if you were to look at it, if you were to have this model, like you could ask yourself if you could make it for any less. Like to me, it looks like it's a hundred euro or something, but um. Yeah, the t the wheels do turn. Um, yeah, they turn, and I'll show you the underneath it, the track rod and everything. So there. Yeah, so yes, I really recommend this model if you're into the classic combines, and um, for like if you're like Fords or stuff. They're made in the same era as the Ford, so yeah. So that's all I have to say about. Hope you hope you enjoy the review. 
and uh, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.